even for DS standards. And actually, oh, see, this is like the most dick move ever done by Sega. The like, the freaking first red ring is like literally above you, and we didn't know. So how red burst works is that it's basically a low um. It's a like it's like a glide power up, and essentially all you gotta do is you gotta hold the um. You gotta hold down the button if you wanna go higher. Um, these don't hurt you, even though it says it does, but it doesn't. Um, so we got introduced to these, like, bubbles, and yeah, there you go. <laughs> this game is so accelerating, I swear, guys. One of the best Sonic games out there right now for the DS. Um, you get your home, oh yeah, you just, I barely remember to mention this. Unlike the Sonic Rush, um, games, Sonic has a, a homing attack ability, I forgot to mention that since the first episode. But, I mean, um, it's nice. I mean, we at least don't have to be worrying about freaking, um, you know, doing trick system or anything like this. Why did I let go so fast? Anyway. Okay. I know you go up. There we go. Uh, this can only be broken with red burst. Like, you guys can take chocolate and heat while it starts melting. Um... So how red burst works is you got you want to collect as much red burst as you can because you get red burst can like literally take you maybe halfway through the stage in like a second and there's another red ring. I will be collecting the ones that I see on my way, but I won't be collecting the oh there see that's an, another um was power that we'll be collecting later. Um, what else? Uh, red burst. There you go. We got destroyed. Destroyed. Oh, um, you can't get hurt red burst with enemies, but you can get hurt if they attack you, and or a, um, if they attack you or if you touch spikes, you will lose your rings if that happens. But I mean, if you just walk up to it, nothing will happen to you. Oh my god! And I forgot to mention. Uh, like I said, this is just like Sonic Rush. Um, there are certain enemies that have um health bars. So you gotta be cautious of that. Oh, where this is oh, okay. It's too fast. Oh my god, you, you saw, saw it? You guys saw it? I saw it. Haha. -ha. Nice try, Sega. Alright, and I guess we're almost at the end of the level. Yeah. I know there's a red ring up here as well, somewhere. Or not. Okay, I guess we're done. Was that the last red ring? I don't know. We got a B rank. Doesn't matter. Right. And, um... A special stage is done by every single level, so... And I like how this music can catch up to itself immediately, so... Just like the other special stage from stage 1, Sonic will be running endless, um, like... Without stopping, and you will be trying to collect as many orbs as you can. Um, in this one, you get introduced by jumping off the edge, and that's what happens when you collect the warp that you're not supposed to collect. Um, <clears throat> if you if you kick all the orbs that are, you weren't you're not supposed to collect, you will not beat the special stage. I guarantee you that. Um, would you? And uh, like I said before as well, um, this is one of the stages in which. Um, okay, this is one of the special stages in which you get introduced. Like I said, you know, from jumping off the stage. This is basically like a, like a uh, Sonic 2 stage. You got springs, you got jumping. In the, but in this case, um, you have to be um, using the touch screen. Like you guys are seeing me, you do. Uh, you guys can see me touching the screen at the bottom of the screen. <clears throat> now I love this scene a lot. I like it a lot. And my dog is licking herself. It's weird as it sounds. <laughs> Oh no, see, now I messed up. But here's the nice thing, if you don't collect like all the color orbs, like those, you could like get your, catch yourself up again, basically. But yeah, I mean, <clears throat> Time Colors is a great game. Uh, it's one for you, th for those gamers that just like want to get play a game quick for like a quick time. But it's not a permanent game to, um, to like maybe just like keep forever. Like, maybe for a while, but not forever. And there you go. 
Okay, so we jumped. Oh, see, and now this, that's an introduction of when orbs starts like jumping around everywhere. Um, see, like the first few stages, you don't have to worry about because, like, look at that, look at that. We we collect like a hundred something, one hundred seventeen, I believe it was. That's an amazing. Oh, and then chains. I forgot to mention about chains. I don't think chains aren't anything. Yeah, chains don't do anything. Um. They just, like, it's something that you, like, could feel proud of because you did, right? So, like, right now it's going to disappear. No, it didn't. Now? No? Now? Okay, I guess it's not disappearing. Oh, it's because we're running way faster. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention. Every time you uh, get past uh, past the checkpoint, um, after a certain, at, at the last one, you will be running quickly. I'm not sure if you guys noticed in the first special stage, but, I mean, yeah. Um... Jeez, wow. Okay, so we're eight minutes into the video. Really? Have I spent eight minutes that quickly already? Oh my gosh. I'm slow. But we are, I'll, I'll guarantee you, we, I will most likely get an S rank every time I finish the, uh, the special stage. But yeah, we got a new act now. So, I'm not doing the mission. Okay, can I? Oh, I forgot to mention this game does have uh, online compa compa compatibility. Compa I don't know how you say that word. I don't care. I am. I may be 18, but I don't care. <laughs> but anyways, um, you can play online with people if they have the game, but not a lot of people play the Sonic uh, franchise as much as I noticed through the years. Ow! See that? There you go. There you go. There is your hurt. Oh, and that's what happens if you, um, touch jello. <laughs> okay, so we got that. Okay. So this time, let's not mess up. And I think there's a ring up here. Ah, oh, damn. We messed up, so we can't get go up here anymore. Or can we? Ah, ah. It's just a mystery ring count. Oh, yeah, I forgot. So now we gotta introduce like yeah so like this game has like a bunch of certain mechanics like in this one um, in the Wii one you don't get none of this it's basically just use power ups and that's pretty much it and not only that it's kind of like the only Sonic game that would look kind of HD as for the Nintendo console and it was for the Nintendo Wii and not it looked much more better than um, Sonic Unleashed and that game was not as polished polished well enough for the Wii um, but it was polished oh my god that game looked so amazing for the PS3 and the Xbox. You know what? I think I might get a Vita soon. <laughs> Just for that game. I hope it's the Sonic Generation is available for Vita. Not only that, I think I might as well get a Vita as well for uh, Rayman uh, Legends because I've been wanting to play that game for months. And it looks super fun. I didn't know I had a burst ability on. But yeah. Um. Ow. How was I supposed to know to do that? But anyways. Oh, God damn it. Please, please, please. Okay. But yeah, um. I will do an LP on, um, Sonic. No, Rayman Legends. Because I did, I am doing, until I'm, well actually until I'm done with the Origins playthrough, but I won't be done until a while. Uh, Link Between Worlds, I already mentioned that in my previous video, that's kind of the reason why I'm doing this one. But I mean, I need some time to recover. Oh, hot air balloon. Nice. Oh my god. So yeah, Sonic Unleashed, um, I don't know much else to say honestly today, I feel really really tired, I did just get out of work, so, oh, my, god, that was close, but yeah, um, <clears throat> I, don't know, I don't know what else to talk about honestly, uh, ouch, we did, like I did say, we already covered, uh, Link Between Worlds, so, Rayman Legends will be doing a, be a feature LP. I do promise you that. And, um... 
Well, I think I might do uh, sticker stars soon as well. Because I, I, I like sticker stars. Many people say it's not a good Mario RPG. Sticker star was really well. Honestly, the only thing though is that it didn't. It got rid of the level up and the buddy system, so that's kind of one of the reasons why people didn't like it that much. But I mean, like whatever. It's just it's everyone's opinion. I don't I, I don't want to ruin anyone. If you don't like it, that's you. But I mean, I liked it, so yeah. There you go. Davis, we got a C rank. Well then, I look at Sonic. It's like, oh man, I fucked up. <laughs> no. I, meanwhile, my dog's staring at me. I don't know why. She saw I stare at her. What do you want, dog? But yeah, now we will encounter the boss, which is, I think, Captain Gelly? So, yeah. Like I said, this game will have, um... Are we going to destroy him in a second? So you guys can obviously tell this game is, um... This game's soundtrack is obviously less plot, it's more, um... A, a bit... So, someone in an 8 bit manner than the um, original Wii version. I don't know what is going on. I've never encountered this in the actual, in my own playthroughs, honestly. I, wow. Okay, I guess that's it. And bam, there we go. We beat our last. Oh, look at that. 15 minutes again. Haha. <laughs> Alright then. But yeah, we reached the end of our episode. Um, yeah, it's a uh, Sweet Mountain. It's a really short game. If, I got half an hour done with just the first two worlds, with just commentating and everything. Maybe if you maybe if you put it in time, I think I spent a little over maybe uh, 30 hours trying to collect everything. It's not that big of a game, honestly. But yeah, there you go. Mega Wisp. Whoa, what is that? We'll find out next time on Let's Play Sonic Colors. For the Nintendo DS. But besides that, like, comment, subscribe to my channel, and keep on hitting that like button. But other than that, it is I, Brent, also known as Pocket Gamer, here saying good night and take it easy.